Hello guys and welcome to another Minecraft guide. Today's guide will all be about the starter base or the base in general and I'll give you a couple of tips and tricks and on how you can create your starter base and where you should create yours. And like let's imagine you start in a brand new world and you load into your seat and you're for example in the plains now and you want to create a base. Or maybe you spawn in another bime and you want to find the right place for your starter base. What's important first of all is how good is your location to actually survive in. Like there are multiple biomes uh, like for example the desert in Minecraft, the savanna or the plains and many more. And some are more challenging than others because uh, some they don't offer certain animal spawns. Like here for example in the plains we do have already chickens. Uh, earlier I saw some cows over there. So, so we have like sources of food and what's like most important is that you find sheeps because you need that wool. You need like uh, three white wools and three planks to create a bed. So you want to most definitely find a sheep first of all and a biome where you can find sheeps because it's, it's crazy crazy important. Unfortunately here are no sheeps anymore because I all moved uh, them to my farm. I actually have a sheep farm over there. I'm about to show you that guys. And this was actually my first real base that I have built in this world. And yeah, you want to look out for those animals there because they are easy food source and it's way faster than farming actually wheat and other stuff that needs time to grow. Especially if you don't have a bone meal farm yet or, or beehives. So yeah, here were like a couple of sheep and I moved those sheep inside here into this fence. And you always want to have a sheep farm so you can create those uh, lovely comfortable beds. And you could like kill the sheep or you could shear them. Like in, in my case I'm about to shear the sheep. And here we have like four wool now. With that we can make a bed. Oh and there's a little trick when you have a farm, when you have your first farm. Try to place a carpet down somewhere like, like I did here, a black carpet. Because those sheep they can't go up the carpet but you can. So you can always uh, enter and leave again. I mean you could open the door as well but sometimes sheep will get out. And yeah before you did find a nice location to actually build your first uh, base in. I always recommend to go with the method of collecting wool and then setting up a bed. And then when you see like how the sun goes down. Try to place your bed, especially if you see it already at the horizon like this. Like you really want to be set for the night. If you don't sleep immediately when it turns a night, you will have a lot of zombies and monsters spawn around you. And you have to restart the game basically. At first it's very very difficult to actually get everything together before the night. So I always recommend to sleep the first night in the open. And try to grab some, some berries or some, some vegetables if you can find them on your way while exploring. Or at least get some meat. Some meat can be eaten raw like the meat that sheep uh, drop and cows but don't eat chicken meat raw. You will have like a negative status effect. And the same with like rotten flesh from zombies. You, you will get hung the hunger effect. And some foods also poison you so you have to be careful. So yeah, then when it's night you sleep until you find a very very nice location where you have like everything you need, be it wood, animals, uh, different kind of flowers because you can create uh, dice with those flowers. And then like, let's say you have been exploring and for example this area right there, oh I want to create my first starter base there. And, and then like I always recommend something and there's one reason why a lot of players are leaving their starter base and giving up on that and that's because when you start the game new you have like not so much experience and you often build like really small houses or those that don't look spectacular so what I always recommend as a starter base for like new players uh, we are now on layer 69 Try to dig down like uh, six layers for example, like that, like let's go down one layer. And always dig straight forward, never dig down like that, you could fall into a hole. So yeah, until we are like five or uh, six blocks deep. 
that what that's what makes actually a good uh, starter not like a starter base but like a place where you can actually hide and sleep okay actually i think yeah that's uh, deep enough so what you do there is you create like a little space like that like let's make it for example three blocks wide and three blocks high And then once you have like a small area where you want to build your main base in, you start by making a crafting table. Then for example, like here, we're gonna place that crafting table down this corner. And then you want a bed, so you go for a bed. If you already have coal and some wood, you could also start with your uh, torches because you need those torches, otherwise like some monsters can spawn. And then for example, right in front of your crafting table, you could uh, place the bed. Then if you don't have torches yet, then make sure you have like a small area so there's no risk of monster spawning. If you have a bigger room, you maybe end up getting some monster spawns. So you could even go for two blocks wide and have like a little hole with a bed. And that way you're pretty much uh, safe for the night. And yeah, let's assume you have like already more wood and you have like some sticks, then you go with some torches. And then for example, you put a torch over your crafting table and voila, this area is now lit. So you have a lit area and you can always save there at the bed and you can sleep here. And this is like your pre-starter base. So now you have your pre-starter base and a place to sleep or in case you are a bit too late at the night you could always also use like uh, dirt blocks right and you could like close your entrance like let's say so some monsters are chasing you and, and you are like in trouble then you just close the area up like that and you are safe and then in the morning you just remove those blocks and you can go back up and now the most important thing uh, starts how big do you want your starter base to be? For example, like this here, this little castle right there is my first uh, starter base here in this world. And I wanted to have a very, very, very huge area. And I did start this one also quite similar to what I just showed you with like underground. Actually, I, I, I used to have a cave here. Like, I'm not gonna lie. I used to have a freaking cave here. And I used to spend some time in the cave, also at night, before I was done. I think here I placed the bed somewhere before. And there are also some torches. Oh, actually, removed the torch by accident. So yeah, I had like this little area and I would always uh, come back up when the day started. And I would continue on building here. And this took me like a couple of days to actually finish that base. And what's also really important at bases, you always want to have furnaces so you can create stuff like iron or like bricks if you want to work with that. Of course you want to have a lot of chests so you can store your stuff. It's also always really really good to have like those uh, weapon holders here, like item frames. And there you can place the items like for example coal or iron in, like one. And that way you know what is in what chest. So it's, it's really cool to also work with that. I often use mixed chests with multiple things, but I sometimes struggle to find what I want. So it's always good to, to use those frames once you have like more resources and options. And yeah, because I had like such a huge area, I spent multiple days underground like uh, in this small area that we uh, had here. And what you also want for your base is you want uh, different variations of wood because this helps you so much when it comes to building. Like here I have dark oak, I have regular oak, somewhere over there I have like birch trees, I have some spruce trees and... Like I really love the spruce trees uh, trapdoors for example, like I love to include them in builds so I did uh, collect a couple of saplings from a neighbor biome and it's also really really nice to do. Grab multiple sorts of flowers and trees or here for example we have like all types of uh, two block flowers like the roses here and if you bone me a rose bush you can actually clone it same with the peonies here if you bone meal it you get another one so you basically want your main base to be an area where you collect all sorts of stuff be it like different animals different crops 
And with the first farm you can always go with just like a simple like oak or spruce fence with a gate, place some carpet on top and then you can always like farm for some meat and cook it in the furnace. And beef is actually really really good because it will satisfy your hunger by a lot. Like it's way better than eating carrots. But you could also always go for bread, uh, harvest some wheat and make some bread. And what I've also learned uh, throughout my months and, and here in Minecraft is it's good to have a base actually not too far from the sea. Because to travel across the sea is so freaking quick. You can also go fishing, you can collect some fish that you can cook. This can also be nice starter food if you have a furnace, you cook some, some fish. And it's easy to explore interesting locations. And what you also always need to do is you need to save uh, coordinates. It's, it's, it's freaking, freaking important. Like here, for example, we have X3858 and Z2377. So it's crazy important to have that. Like either you take a picture with your phone or a screenshot or you just write it down, but make sure you can read that. <laughs> and yeah, and you will never get lost if you then navigate with the coordinates and, and get closer to the axes where your house is or your base is. And what's also really useful, and I always recommend that, try to find a village that's nearby. So you can have all sorts of, 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 of crops, like for example, potatoes, so, uh, some carrots like over there, and you can just cultivate everything and you can do some trading and stuff as well. Like it's really useful to trade with villagers because some offer some really, really great stuff like glowstone, you can get some equipment or if you're like short on iron and you leveled up some of your villagers, you can also get iron tools and stuff. You have like those uh, iron golems if you run into trouble. Like let's say you are somewhere exploring, it's already night and you're being chased down by too many monsters, you don't have proper equipment. You just sprint to a golem and the golem will finish the mobs that are chasing you. And if you're not fast enough to get the wool, a village can help you also to sleep and spend the night, like you can just find a bed like here and sleep and then build a base near to a village. Like that's way easier than farming for wool in my opinion. And some of those villagers have such great offers as well. Like just look at that, what I said earlier, you can get like glowstone, bottle of enchanting and stuff. And wait, there should be a toolsmith somewhere. Yeah, or here you can get like stone pickaxes, stone holes, bells. Like, it's very, very useful to locate those. So a great base or the best base you can have is one that's not too far from a village as well. And that has like a lot of different animals. What you also can do with your main base so you don't uh, lose your main base for like eternity is to create an actual nether hub. And what's a nether hub? And that's something for those of you that are more experienced. That's actually putting a nether portal down somewhere near to your base. Like in this case, I have one in a cave that's here. Okay, here's the cave. And you can uh, fast travel through the nether to different biomes. Wait, where did I place it? I think it was somewhere here. If I'm not mistaken. Oh yeah, here's the nether portal. So you can get into the nether and put down another nether portal at another village or base and you can easily access another one. Yeah, like here in this case, if, if we follow that uh, road there, we'll be in another base. Because it's so freaking easy to travel with a nether hub. But try to go for, for bedrock. And by bedrock, I mean the highest. Like go for layer 119 if you can, because that way you are safe in the nether and you don't get monster spawns. And that way you can connect multiple bases with each other. Okay, let's say for for some reason you don't want to have your base in the plains and you really want to have your base in a different biome. Like for example, you really, really love the desert so much 
and you want to live in the desert and you want to have a starter base there. Here it is similar, like uh, I've said, like try to go for some sort of cave or if you have like a good timing then try to sleep outside and put down a bed somewhere. But what I always recommend is, if, for example, you really want to be in a more challenging biome or you want to have a base in the desert, like here where I built the desert kingdom. Oh, I still have a hole here. But yeah, what I basically did is uh, I created a base in the desert. Like I have a castle over there that you guys can see from the far. It is like my main base in the desert. This, this was my main base for a while actually in this game. And how I also started surviving there is I was looking for a sub biome. Like uh, for example, here was a sub biome called River. And if you've watched like my previous guide to the desert, like always try to find areas where you can actually survive even within another biome where you have like a couple of dirt blocks, a bit of water, so you can grow stuff like be it carrots or wheat or potatoes. Like you need some food supply, something so you can survive your first days. And then you just end up like mining a lot of stuff, be it like gobblestone, be it wood. And you just get what you want and what you need for buildings. Like it's completely up to you on what kind of base you want to make, like what color you want, you want it to be out of sandstone, out of wood. But always make sure you make the right preparations. Like it's so freaking difficult if you like make a small house like, like this one here for example and no I didn't make it, it's a naturally spawned one. And this uh, building is just one, two, three, four, five blocks wide and maybe like eight, nine deep. It's so difficult to extend this. You, you literally need to break this whole wall apart, the roof and add another floor and it's just so way easier to already have like calculations or measurements. For example, you want a base that's like 12 blocks wide and maybe 16 blocks deep so you can always just like mark the corners with something like dirt or gobblestone and then you start placing down either the wall first or the floor first. But I always recommend if you uh, build a new base Try to put down the floor first, because that way you're saving a lot of time. Like, let me give you guys an example. For example, like I want to build a house here and for whatever reason I just want it to be three blocks wide. And then I notice, oh, this is way too small, let's extend this. So I will go further and maybe extend this by like another three blocks and then I'm like, Oh yeah, this is wide enough. Uh, I want my house to just be like uh, six blocks wide. I feel like this is spacious enough and this will be like my, my starter base. Then do it like that. But don't go placing down walls first because if you do that you will end up being confused. Unless you have taken measurements before. And how do you take measurements? I will quickly explain you how to do this easily. Like, let's say we are standing on this block and let's, yes, let's just use dirt for that. Oh my gosh, this iron golem is bothering me. Like you press on computer F3, you get the coordinates and we are standing now on block 100, uh, no, 1052. So if that's where you want your building to start, you jump up while placing a block down and that's your cornerstone. You can use all type of cornerstones. It's best if you use something that you're not using for the actual building, like be it dirt or granite. And then, for example, you want your building to be 8 blocks wide. Then here you go from uh, 52 all the way down to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. To 46, for example. And voila, you have like enough space and the measurements you want. And then you can, for example, start working on that floor and, and place everything down how you desire. So yeah, in my opinion, it's very important to take measurements because that way you know how big your building will be. Like I always try to do measurements, also that stuff is like symmetrical. Because you don't want to have a base and have like your door be like one or two blocks more on that side and everything looks just like so uneven. I mean, you could always go for like side doors that start at one corner, like two or three blocks from it. And you can make your house still look nice and add some windows. But, yeah. But I don't recommend some biomes for your starter base. Like, 
I really don't recommend, to be honest, the desert. I also don't really recommend the snowy tundra. It's extremely difficult there to go for crops. Like, it's very challenging. You have no animals. And don't go for those uh, strange island biomes. They are also quite challenging. I just go for the regular main ones like forest, plains, taiga and you can always make a second base somewhere else, bring in some stuff and, and then make there a base. That's the same thing I did here with this uh, desert kingdom. I first started in the plains and when I had like enough resources and silk touch so I could also move like grass blocks here, I started a base here. That's why we see so much grass because I freaking collected some stuff and and this little friend here with Silk Touch is so freaking useful. And if you want Silk Touch, uh, go for villages and go for the librarians and just keep destroying their lecture until they finally sell a mending book. And stack up on some emeralds and books so you can buy it. And yeah, this is like this is like my first real main base where I actually spent a lot of time in. And this is like a freaking desert castle, one that I'm really proud of actually. But I still need to remove some torches because like there was some issue where there were like some shady areas and monsters kept spawning. So I had to place down like here and on this side a torch on the ground. And I even got freaking iron golems in my base and, and cats. And they keep away creepers. So if you're like worried about creepers, uh, tame a couple of cats and place them in your main base. Like if a creeper sees your cat, it will just run away. Because they're freaking afraid of those. Oh, and a little advice I can give you guys, if you are into meat a lot and you want to cook meat, try to create a smoker. And it's not that difficult to get a smoker. Like, wait a second, I will show you. Oops, wrong step. Like, that's way better than a furnace for making food. All you need is just locks and a regular furnace and you only need four locks. It's so easy to get and it will cook your food way faster and especially if you have like an animal farm, go for smokers. And let's say you're like exploring a bit and you want to have like maps. You could always use the cartography cable in your main base and put a map in. Unfortunately, I don't have a map and just keep extending it with like more paper. And that way you can also not get lost that easily because you can always like create maps and have like, like side bases or certain points that you can uh, save also on a map. And yeah. Yeah, that's basically it for my starter guide for you guys. Like how to get started in the world or where to create a base and what you should watch out for when you create a base. So always make sure you have animals, you have dirt and you have water. And those are like the most essential things, especially the sheep, because you need the bed. And if like for whatever reason you want to be in a different biome like the desert, it always helps to find a village or those smaller biomes within there like rivers so you have some dirt and you can grow some stuff. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you guys are new to the channel, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more content. And I would also really, really appreciate if you like this video and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any new episode. And I wish everyone a wonderful day. I will see you guys next time.